Well, here we go. Welcome to week number two. I'm Sean Parr. And look at this amazing crew that we have here up on stage. It's so great to see you all. Before we go any further, guys, before I introduce our incredible guests, I want to thank all of you for tuning in to us because listen to this. Last week, in week number one, how about this? Are you ready for some numbers? I'm just blown away by this. 2.9 million people Amazing. tuned in. Set a record. And when you think about that, yes, that deserves Woo! a round of applause. People at home yes. going crazy. 2.9 million people. And if you haven't registered already, do me a favor and register because you're going to need to. We'll make it worth your while. UltimateRVShow.com. Calm. Now, I want to introduce you to these incredible people. This is Tiffany and Caleb, and we're going to get to them in just a moment. But you did something so incredibly special, and I'll tell you something. Bryce, Nellie, uh, Nellie, tell everybody. I'm bragging on you, girl. All right. You did something I driving it. down I here for the very first time. <laughs> I, uh, I pulled our massive trailer behind our dually for three hours, and I, I parked it. I backed it up, and I parked it with the help of these two, but I did it. She, she did, did it. it all by her Wasn't lonesome. Wasn't as as I thought. Awesome. You yeah. did a little help. I was a co-pilot. I sat next to her as she did it all. So <laughs> <laughs> she did good. It's nice. But it's overwhelming at first, but then you get the hang of it. And guys, there's going to be a lot of stuff that might be overwhelming or questions you have during the show. So make sure to text RV at 46642 and you'll get connected with any RV specialist for any questions you have. Yeah, so much going on. Caleb, Tiffany, you guys got your Class C going on? It was absolutely amazing. We were able to pick up and pack up in like 10 minutes. Caleb already threw a, f a fishing rod up from the top of the That's RV. I'm it. loving it. Yeah, so great. And just a reminder again, if you haven't registered, text URVS to 46642. Tons of giveaways this week. We're so excited. All right. UltimateRVShow.com as well. And we've got my favorite segment coming up right now. This is awesome. It is the kickoff to Couples Traveler, Travel Trailer Session. Let's kick it off with Ian right now. Ian, take it away, my friend. A toy hauler with a 17-foot garage. Beautiful kitchen interior with a rock surround. Plenty of seating, sleeping, party deck, backup camera. Folks, if you're looking for a toy hauler, this is one you certainly want to check out. Welcome to week two of the Ultimate RV Show National Tour. We're still here on the East Coast, rocking and rolling, and folks, I'm excited because we get to start with the Cherokee 294RR. And this toy hauler, I'm telling you, if you're looking for something, you have something big, you have a UTV you wanna be able to put in here, you can do it. And as you'll see, I have the party deck. I can sit out here, I can relax, enjoy the beautiful sunshine, got the woods behind me. You know, this is what it's about, getting outdoors. And the party deck with the toy hauler definitely a allows you to do that. As you make your way inside, you can see that I have these screen doors right here. We can drop those down. You have a center zipper, which makes it really easy to enter and exit the RV. And again, we can completely close that off. You have the screen so that we can still get the breeze in here without getting all of the bugs. And as I mentioned, folks, 17 foot from the back to the front. So if you have a few uh, quads you need to fit in here, if you have a UTV, if you're planning on going camping, uh, if you're planning on going hunting, this is an excellent toy hauler for it. Right back here, you have two big sofas. The cool thing about this, you want to talk about an easy bed to make up. Hey, there you go. You just <laughs> remove the back cushion, you throw some sheets on there, boom, you have a spot to sleep. You can do the same thing on the other side. Or if you want something a little bit bigger, you have a table. And that table can drop down right here in between, giving you nearly a, basically a king bed right back here where two people can very comfortably sleep. The thing I love about this is with this big table, you know, I'll scoot it back here for just a second just to kind of show. But look how much space I have here. I mean, I can easily fit six people back here. And, you know, we can, we can all be back here playing a game. We can eat a meal, you know, as one big group. The table's movable. You can see in a second, I can move it over to the other sofa. If I, you know, want a nice walkway, I can put it out on the back patio. I can put it outside. You want to play some beer pong? You can do that. You want a table to set up outside for, uh, you know, to set up like a, a crock pot or a big breakfast for the campground? You can do that too. This table is very versatile and I love it in this floor plan. And as I said, that is what helps make up this bed right back there. Storage up top on both sides. We'll see it a little bit more, but they did something I really like, and they went with gold accents. Uh, the gold pulls. It's something a lot more popular in the, the residential side that we're seeing. You know, I'm sure if you've been on Pinterest, you've seen some people's kitchens where they have blue cabinets and like the gold pulls. That's kind of what they went with, and I think it's a big upgrade over some of like the uh, oil rub bronze, you know, kind of like a dark on dark look that I've seen some manufacturers do. Here, you can take a look at it right there. 
See, I, I think they did a good job. I think that is a great accent. Uh, and again, something a little bit different than what we're used to seeing. As far as entertainment value, you have a spot for a TV right there. Boom, drop it in. Your hookups are all right across the top. And folks, the cool thing about this is this 294RR, uh, if you're interested in this bad boy, this one starts at $30,035, which is $7.19 a day. You know, for getting the experiences you can get in here, for getting out camping, for getting out hunting, for just over seven bucks a day, that is a great deal. And I know if you've been shopping toy haulers, one of the big concerns is carrying capacity. Well, this thing is right around 4,500 pounds of carrying capacity. So you definitely have enough room for your gear, for your toys, everything that you want to load up in here. If you are interested in this particular one, you're going to want to text RV to 466 or two or put it in the comments section below also if you're like you know ian i like this toy hauler but i'm thinking maybe something a little bit different as we go through you can still lock in show pricing and that goes for any unit and all you have to do is text fresh r f or f r e s h to four six six four two for some reason i can't spell fresh today i don't know what's going on and you can see right over in the main living space you have that super slide really helping to open this space up you have a couple windows here letting in some natural light, and this one comes with the zebra shades. And I really like these because as you can see, you can just kind of roll it up and down to control the amount of light that you want to let in. It's weighted, so it's super simple and easy to use. You have the jackknife sofa right down underneath. You know, this guy just uh, folds right down into a bed. And if you take a look underneath there, one of the great things about a jackknife is all the storage you get. Removable armrest, so you know, that provides a little something something when you're sitting there, take it off when you're sleeping. The table, of course, can just be shifted right up here, so that way if you want like a coffee table or, you know, just a different place to eat and still have your walkway open, you can have that available too. The great thing about this is, that, folks, this is like a party central, right? You have all the seating in the back, you have the seating over here, plus you get two more chairs here. Both of these recline, you can kick back, relax, again, a window there. If you want some entertainment, you have a space for TV. So right there from the sofa, you can watch a TV, boom, drop it in. Your hookups are right up top and you are good to go, rocking and rolling. Let's take a quick look at the kitchen. So uh, I like the kitchen as well. You'll see the recessed cooktop. This of course just folds up and back like that. Oven underneath, some storage, microwave. 12 volt compressor driven refrigerator. We're starting to see more and more of these in the RV industry uh, and I personally like it. Now, to be honest, most manufacturers, whoops, started putting these in uh, because the, the regular RV fridge just wasn't available, right? Uh, you know, earlier this year, there was all sorts of shortages on uh, RV parts, on RVs themselves, right? Everything was short. So they switched to these 12 volt refrigerators in order to help with that. And so many people liked it that a lot of manufacturers kept it. Here's the other thing, you know that big RV shortage? We at Camping World, we predicted it. We were put in orders before anyone else and folks, we have over 80, thousand rvs on order we have twenty thousand on the ground currently so if you're looking for an rv if you're looking for a toy hauler if you're looking for a bunk model a rear living or whatever it may be chances are no not even chances i can almost guarantee that we will have one in stock or have one coming and if you want to lock in show pricing if you're like yep this is the r you know the year i want to go rving because why wouldn't it be? You know, we know that it's the safest way to travel. We know it's the best way to see outdoors. And now everyone else is starting to learn that too. And if you're tuning in, just getting into the RV industry for the first time, you're learning that as well. And what you're going to want to do is text FRESH to 46642. And that will lock in your show pricing, not just for this unit, but for any units you see during the show. Uh, if you take a look here, folks, this is the kitchen space. So again, good countertop space. You'll see a sink top cover, you can take that off of course. You have the undermount stainless steel sink there, absolutely gorgeous, high rise faucet, and I love this surround. I think this is awesome. It kind of has like the rock look to it. It really adds uh, that beautiful kitchen element that we don't see very often in a toy hauler, especially in travel trailer. So I love the fact that they were able to do that. So we make our way up into the bathroom, because hey, this is an important piece too, right? You know, you got to be able to have a bathroom you can use. You get a neo angle shower. I'll stand in here real quick just to show you. I'm six foot tall, folks. Plenty of space, no issues whatsoever. You can see I have great uh, leg space for my toilet here too. Of course, sink over in the corner, mirrored medicine cabinet, making our way up into the bedroom. Queen bed, storage on both sides, mirrored wardrobe. There's a spot for a TV as well. So if you do want TV in here, you can have it mounted. Plus we have windows on both sides. 
Uh, I'm telling you folks, this one is amazing, especially that big 17 foot garage. Here's another cool thing. Let's say you're not new, right? We talked to people just tuning in. What if you already have an RV? You know, what if you have something you want to trade in? Or, you know, let's say, and by the way, we have some of the best trade deals in the industry. But let's say you find something else elsewhere and you're like, you know what, Ian? Uh, I think, you know, I, I have a pretty good deal here. Uh, why would I want the Cherokee 294RR or for that matter, any RV that you're seeing from you? Well, here's why. Because we will beat any competitor's deal. Folks, all you have to do is text BEAT to 466 Four, two, and right from there, you can upload that deal and we will beat that deal or we'll give you a thousand bucks. Boom, just like that. Thousand dollars, hand it over. You are good to go. You'll be a thousand dollars richer. You have nothing to lose. If you're looking to get into RVing, this is the year of the RV. This is the great, a great time to do it here at the show because we have that show pricing. Lock in the pricing will beat any deal. Taking a look at the outside of that Cherokee, of course, we have a power awning. Touch a button, roll that out. Same thing to go right back in. You'll see a couple speakers here. The other thing I do want to point out is this mount. I don't know if you noticed, but that is the same mount that we had inside. And what that means is you can have one TV, that one that you have inside, you can pop it right out, bring it outside, drop it in place, and now you are good to go. If we take a look up front here, you'll see our front storage, good front storage compartment in there. Solar charge controller is already built in. You know, I know that you know, so a lot of people that are taking toy haulers out and about, you're going places that not, probably don't have shore power. And so you want solar. You want to make sure you trickle charge your battery and that will give you the capability to do it. Another thing I do like about this one, folks, is right here you have that smooth aluminum front, which I absolutely love. It certainly helps keep things nice and clean. As soon as how that's most of your bug smashes are going to be, you want to make sure you are keeping that one clean. Folks, if you're interested in this one right here, the Cherokee 294RR, this one starts at $30,035 or as little as $7.19 a day. Simply text RV to 46642 to lock in the price on this specific unit. As I mentioned, if you're looking for something else, all you're going to want to do is text FRESH. That will lock in show pricing for the entire show and we will beat any other uh, dealership deal out there. If you have a deal and it's pending, you're thinking this is the one, I'm telling you folks, we'll beat it, or $1,000 in your pocket. Because this is the ultimate RV Show National Tour. This is week two, I'm excited to get it kicked off. We have more amazing couples travel trailers coming up for you, plus a whole slew of things this week. Thanks for joining me, folks. Let's rock and roll. Demand for RVs is at historic levels, which is why we are working around the clock to bring you over 80,000 factory fresh RVs. That's the largest selection of RVs in the world, fresh from the factory to our stores, to your driveway or campsite. RVs are made by Americans for Americans. And now you can see America for less. Shop over 80,000 factory fresh RVs, starting at just $5 a day. Click, call, or visit your local Camping World or Gander RV and Outdoors today. This comparison will shock you. Did you know the average flight and week-long stay at a hotel for a family of four costs almost $2,300 or over $6,000 if you're traveling abroad? Rethink your travel. We have over 3,000 RVs for less than $5 a day. That's less than the cost to check your bag on the flight. See America for less. Click, call, or visit Camping World or Gander RV and Outdoors today. In this beautiful rear living, you have a sofa in the back. You'll see dual opposing slides opening up this main living area. You have the big center island plus another little coffee station or bar area, big pantry, and space up front. Folks, this is the 2021 Alpha Wolf 26RL-L. And this is a great rear living camper. If you're looking for something for just a couple people, you like to entertain, this one definitely allows you to do it. It's uh, kind of a design that we've seen often in fifth wheels over the past couple years, but they're starting to bring it into travel trailers, and this is one of them, and becoming very, very popular for a good reason. Uh, and that reason is it's just a very functional setup. So you'll see in the back, as I mentioned, you have a sofa. This is a tri-fold, so it does fold out into a bed. So if you have guests and you decide, ah, I guess I'll let them stay the night, or as I said, maybe you're entertaining, putting a few cocktails back to need a place to sleep, you have a bed for them right here. 
here. Of course, you have end tables there as well, so you have a spot to uh, set your beverages down. You'll have uh, electrical outlets on both sides, USB ports, some wall sconces, as well as lights right up top. So they did a great job of lighting up this back area. Storage across the top there as well with the fluted glass. Now, if we take a look at the windows, and you have windows on both sides as well as the back, lets in a ton of natural light, you'll notice a couple things. One of them is the treatments that they used on it are wood. So a little more residential feel than what we oftentimes get in RVs. A lot of times they'll have like, you know, the big Lamberkins that come all the way down, but they used wood to get that residential feel. And then you'll see the zebra shades. And I like these, you know, we saw them in the, the Cherokee that we just did, uh, but just to, again, kind of to show you. So you get to control how much light you want to let in. And you can do that all around the camper, nice and weighted. And again, they are very simple and easy to use. Uh, as we take a look across the campsite slide, theater seating, and that is directly across from the TV. You will see you have cup holders in the center as well as over to this side. And folks, once again, we're talking light, heat, and vibration. So, or massage, I guess, probably sounds better than vibration, but uh, you have heat and vibration built in. So you can just sit, you know, kick back, put your feet up, relax, be able to watch TV. You have a nice big center console here too, which I like because, you know, I'd, a lot of times you'll have multiple remotes. You know, you have one for the TV, one for the fireplace. Maybe you want to throw like a cell phone charger or something in there. You can put all of it, just store it right in there. Windows all the way around here too. Again, letting in that natural light, really utilizing uh, the natural light in this RV, which is great. And again, I think they did a good job. You will see that they have uh, kind of a little bit lighter wood here. And they didn't go quite cottage theme like a lot of manufacturers did, but it's lighter. And then you have the dark accent and then they have the dark, uh, right here on your kitchen island as well. So they helped bring in that and then the dark furniture too, as you can see here. And this is kind of cool. The same thing with the end tables in the back. They kind of went with like a, a natural wood look. You can see that, you know, trying to give it a little more depth, um, you know, a little more character than what a lot of times you would find. Uh, I like what they did with the braces here too. Again, add some style to it. And the four chairs I think is a, is a great uh, thing to have over a dinette, especially in a couple's model, just because it, it, again, it feels more residential and it gives you a little more room when you're sitting down, it gives you more space and you have plenty of room there to eat a meal, uh, you know, hang out with friends, play games, really whatever you want to do. Now, if we take a look at the entertainment center, so you'll see that there's storage behind the TV, big storage there, a spot for our TV. And again, just like we saw in the toy hauler, you can take this out and put it in other locations. So it's kind of nice because you don't need to have several TVs fireplace down below, multimedia center right there, big kitchen island. And, and folks, this is, you know, again, we talk about rear living. There's a lot of rear living setups when it comes to travel trailers. And maybe this is one you love. Maybe it's not. Maybe you want a couple of chairs in the back and have a big window. That's something that's available too. And we have them in stock, folks. We have over 20,000 units in stock. We have 80,000 units that are fresh from the factory. They are hot. They are coming out of the manufacturer. They're coming to our lot so you can get something that you want. And all you have to do is text the word fresh to 46642 or call 877-297-8725 or drop fresh in the comments below. And that will reserve your show pricing on, on whatever unit you may see throughout the show. If you like this particular one, then you're going to want to text RV. The reason I say that, the reason we have different call words, folks, is because it's going to route you differently. I'm sure you've had that experience, right, where you pick up a phone, you know, you let's say you call your insurance company, you're talking, you have to explain to one person what the problem is. It takes you to another person, you have to talk to that person in the same problem. You end up saying the same thing three or four times. We don't want you to have that experience. So based upon what you want, we have different ways to route you correctly to get you to the best place possible, whether it's this RV or to lock in pricing for a different one. Uh, but back to the kitchen here, as I mentioned, big, beautiful kitchen island. You have the undermount stainless steel sink, kind of a darker, like the, the black stainless steel that you're starting to see, really helps go with the oil rub bronze faucet, great storage in front and underneath. There is spot for a trash can here, which is great. Uh, pantry, I love what they did with the door. You know, I've seen a couple manufacturers do that. They have the glass inset, open that up. Of course, it is lit in there so you can see at night. Good storage across the top. This is kind of cool too. You have a magnetic cutting board, take it off, you know, need to use it when you're done, boom, just pops right back up. Uh, undermount three burner cooktop with an oven, 12 volt refrigerator, as I mentioned, starting to see more and more manufacturers go to this. They work great. They cool down nice and quickly. And if you have a couple deep cycle batteries and some solar, 
you can run that almost indefinitely. So if you're looking to boondock, that is a great option for you. AC units right above my head has a quick dump feature. Of course, microwave, more storage there. And check out this bar. As I mentioned, you're into entertaining. You want a coffee bar, margarita bar, just a fully stocked bar. This gives you the ability to do it there. Uh, Plug-ins and then more storage right here underneath. Now what you'll see is this switch and uh, that switch, it, you will flip that. It, now I would imagine it's for the fireplace and AC. It could be AC and microwave, I've seen it that way too, but I'm pretty sure it'll go between the, uh, the AC and the fireplace that way because this one runs on 30 amps. So you can kind of flip that back and forth based upon what you want to use. As we make our way up front, come on up front with me here. Take a seat on the toilet, just want to show you the space. Porcelain bowl, folks, if you've seen my videos, you know that's a huge deal to me just because if it doesn't have porcelain, I'm chances are I'm going to spend the money to put porcelain in it anyway because I want it to be easy to clean. This is another thing I like. Look at this, motion sensor light here in the bathroom. If you get up in the middle of the night, you know, chances are, uh, well, maybe you're getting up to go to the refrigerator to get a snack, but chances are you're trying to make your way into the bathroom and this just lets you see. Uh, so I love that they did that here in the shower. Stand up here, you'll see I have plenty of space. Another thing I do like to talk about is the gray tank size on here, folks. You're looking at a 70 gallons of gray tank capacity on this coach, which is phenomenal. You know, if you're taking showers, you're, you know, uh, you know, washing your hands, your gray tank is usually the first thing to fill up and you have a lot of space in here. Linen closet built in, queen bed, storage all across the top. You'll see electrical outlets and USB ports. And if you want a spot to put a TV, Boom, right there it is. You have a spot to put a TV as well. So again, folks, you know, if you're talking rear living, this is a great option. Uh, you can see there, there is a secondary entrance. So if you need to get in and out, uh, you're able to do that. Uh, but I really do like this one. You know, a good bedroom space in here too. Um, and then, you know, it, it, as I said, there, there are a lot of rear living options. This is just one of the many different floor plans. I do like what we have outside or in, in the back here. Um, you know, if you want a different setup, there are a lot of other rear living options, uh, not just within the Alpha Wolf line, because there certainly are, but maybe other manufacturers. And the cool thing about it is that's what we're here for, right? Lean on us. Let us help you. You know, if, I know it's, it's great to do a lot of research, go online, do your research. In fact, I, I do recommend it so you know what's out there. You know, you're probably chances are you're already online because you're watching this. Uh, but lean on us to, to help you help narrow it down, right? There's a ton of RVs down there or uh, out there. We're going to go through, you know, plenty of them for this show and maybe you'll see something you like and that's when you text RV. But if you're just like, you know, Ian, I want, I want to go RVing. It's a great time to do it. It's the safest way to travel. You know, you can take your family, start making those memories. What's right for me? Well, we'll help you. All you have to do is text FRESH to that, uh, that number, that 46642, and that will lock in your pricing, folks. That way you'll be good to go for no matter what unit you're looking at here at the show. On the back, you will see your, uh, your cargo rack. This is awesome, 200 pound weight capacity on here. Drop it down, you can throw on totes, you can throw on wood, whatever else you want to back there. Spare tires attached there as well, which does make it nice and easy to access. Square tubular bumper there, so of course you have a spot to put your end cap, and if you take a look up top, you will see backup camera. That one is not prepped, folks. That, that is an actual backup camera on this unit. So, you know, it's a decent sized unit. You want to be able to see as you're backing up. It gives you the capability to do so. Propane quick connect underneath. If you're like me and you like cooking outside, you love grilling, that gives you the ability to do it there. I personally love the smell of bacon when it's cooking. What I don't love is the smell six hours later when it's in my camper. So if I can come right out here, hook up a griddle, boom, cook bacon outside, make the whole campground jealous, and I am a happy man. If you want TV outside, I'm telling you, you can just take that same TV, boom, plop it down right in there. It's underneath an awning. You'll see there's an awning on this slide, so that way you get some shade so that your, the sun's not beating on the TV, gives you good viewing angles, speakers out here, cable hookup, electric hookup, everything you need to run that bad boy. Making our way up a little bit, grab handle stairs. These more ride stairs, folks, this is one of the coolest things they came out with in the last couple years, in my opinion. They are extremely sturdy, they fold up, you have aluminum treads, they're not gonna rust on you, they're gonna stay looking nice. Did I mention they're sturdy? They're very easy to get up and down, um, which is a big deal, especially if you have bad knees. With these, you don't get that springboard effect, you don't feel like you're gonna fall, they are great. The door on here, too, is actually really cool. 
That is a, <laughs> did you get the reflection there? That's a, uh, a glass door, which is uh, really, really awesome. It's a safety glass door, it's a tempered glass, so you don't have to worry about it breaking or anything when you shut, but it does give it uh, a really nice look on the exterior here. Uh, excellent material, it's not gonna fade on you or anything like that. We make our way up front, a little bit of pet friendly action here. If you have a pet, you have a spot to hook up right there. You have a built-in leash latch. And then you, if you see up front, you have a big pass-through storage compartment. Nice large door so you can easily slide in chairs, grills, whatever else you want to toss up there. And then we make our way up front. You'll also see this one has a power tongue jack. So hooking up and disconnecting is easy. And the three-quarter front cap. Now, folks, if you're interested in this Alpha Wolf 26RL-L, which starts at 32945 you can pick it up for the show starting at $7.89 a day. Folks, I mean, what are you giving up? A, a Starbucks coffee? I mean, you get to make memories. You get to get out the safest way possible, see this beautiful country of ours, and all you have to give up is a coffee? That's a pretty darn good deal. If you're interested in this unit, folks, text RV to 46642 or call 877 297 8725 or just drop the word RV in the section below and remember we'll beat any deal out there. With the Camping World Best Price Guarantee, we'll beat any competitor price by $500 guarantee or write you a check for $1,000. I will never lose a deal over price ever and I guarantee it. Learn more today at campingworld.com. Sooner or later, everyone's bound to encounter someone in need. Thanks, guys. If you're one of the stopping kind, chances are it was passed down. Hey, Mom. Some good that you observed from early on. Call it going the extra mile or paying it forward. We just call it being good. Spend a lifetime doing good. Thank you. Because the next generation is watching. Sean Parr, my good buddy Bryce, and it's so great to be with you all. Thank you so much for being with us and the Ultimate RV Show National Tour. You know what I love? Ian is so good at what he does. He gets into details, and he really gets into stuff that goes on, not just on the inside of the vehicles that you're seeing at home that you can actually buy today, right now. He actually goes to the outside and really shows everything that is so special about each unit Every time we show one, that's awesome. And we have a lot to get to, Bryce. We do, we do. Guys, we have another giveaway that we are just stoked to share with you right now. This is for a Coleman Power Sports UT250. You and we what? do have a winner. They will not even let me hang out and play with this thing. It's so <laughs> awesome, and we're going to give it away. By the way, we are giving away over $250,000 worth of giveaways we in the are. next several weeks. To register, all you have to do is go to campingworld.com uh, and... Uh, what is it? Uh, yeah, you got to comment URVS or text URVS there you go. That's to 46642. UltimateRVShow.com. Uh -huh. It's that simple to get registered. Yep. Who's the winner? The winner is, ready for this, Connor James. Connor James, are you kidding me? You just won yourself an incredible prize. And, and a again, new friendship. A new... <laughs> <laughs> Over $250,000 in prizes that we are giving away. UltimateRVShow.com. Sean Parr and uh, Bryce, I know you guys got that awesome fifth wheel yeah, going. we did. Connor, we actually just got a fifth wheel that has the garage for the toy hauler in the back. We don't have a toy yet, so if our trips align... <laughs> <laughs> I but. see what you did there. And, you know, the cool thing about it is he has the kids and the family out on the road, and that's what it's all about. As a matter of fact, we're going to get into the Keystone Outback right now, yep. and we're going to make our buddy Ian work a little bit more. So take it away. Beautiful rear den. Nice big kitchen. You'll see the solid surface countertops, the amazing dinette with bar stool, plenty of space in here, great ceiling height. Folks, this is the 2021 Keystone Outback 341RD, and I really, really like this floor plan. Uh, my good friend Chris Young likes to call the Outback a chalet on wheels, and for good reason. When you're looking at some of the premium travel trailers, the luxury travel trailers, a lot of them have started to fade out, but Outback has stayed strong, and they're definitely at the top of their game absolutely gorgeous and i again i love this layout for me it's very functional if i didn't have kids this would be one i could certainly see myself in if it was just my uh, my wife and myself i like to entertain i like to sit back and relax and this gives you the opportunity to do it 
So you'll see it's a rear den because what we have is uh, you'll get the dual opposing slides right here, see? And that allows you to have a sofa on both sides. And these are both trifold, mind you, which uh, is something, you know, that a lot of times in travel trailers you can't pull off because you can't pull both of them out at the same time. In the Outback, you can. So you have two trifolds. So even though this is a couple's model, if you have people that want to stay the night, you can sleep four people back here, which is amazing. And not only do you have the two sofas, but you'll also see right here, theater seats. So this is what gives you that rear den space. It's that space to be able to sit down and relax and watch TV on your massive TV right here on the back wall. Now, because it is, you know, a big black screen, they want to make sure they let in a lot of natural light. And they did a good job. You have windows on the sides there, windows in the slides, uh, you know, to help let in some of that natural light. Uh, these back windows do open, by the way. So, you know, if you want some of that the breeze to come in, yeah, you do get that. Storage across the top, you can see that big barreled ceiling, which is wonderful. Uh, underneath that massive fireplace, which helps, uh, you know, heat this space up. And especially in this den like this, you'll love having that fireplace. Storage on both sides, multimedia center, that's a DVD player too. So if you want to throw in a movie, you can do that. Another thing I want to hit on, take a look at this. They, they went with vinyl on these slides. So we're starting to see more and more manufacturers just try to completely eliminate carpet. And so that's what they're doing here. And, and I personally like this, having uh, the vinyl on the slide, it kind of, it, it blends in pretty well. You know, this is where your feet are gonna be, right? When you're sitting down, normally this would get really dirty if it was carpet, but because it's the, the vinyl flooring there, uh, you know, it's gonna stay nice and clean. It'll be easy to clean up, which I think, again, is wonderful. And then as we take a look, kind of moving uh, forward, get into the kitchen space. And folks, it doesn't stop here. I mean, there's, there's no shortage of storage. You can see right there, you have this uh, beautiful pantry right there. The fridge freezer will open up over here. Take a look at that, 12 volt. So, you know, plenty of room in there, cools down super quickly. You don't have to plug it in overnight or anything like that. And if you have a couple batteries and solar, again, you can run a, a 12 volt almost indefinitely. And then storage up top, your slimline hood, recessed countertop, solid, sur or, or, sorry, recessed cooktop, solid surface countertops all throughout. Take a look at this. Not only do you have an oven, which if you look at, if take a look at the size of the oven, that's pretty good size, right? You want to cook a casserole or something in there, you can do that. But you also get this, you get storage underneath. And just in case you didn't have enough pantry, boom, there you go. Spot for a lot of your canned goods, whatever else you want to toss in there. One of the other things I really like is what they have done with the dinette. I think this is uh, very innovative. I've seen one other manufacturer do something very similar, um, but I personally really enjoy this. So you have the um, your standard bench on this side, but then you'll see you have kind of this more decorative one on the other side that you can kind of pull in and out. For travel, this just goes right up front in your front wardrobe. There's a spot to lock it down and everything. But I think this is great. If it's just the two of you, Look, you have a great size table, two people, good to go. If there's more, boom, this slides out, you have a leaf, you get that extra space, now you can sit four people here, and so you still have a spot where you can sit and play games. You know, if you don't wanna sit in the main living area, you have the table space here too. Uh, so, you know, again, I think they did a great job with this layout. And then take a look over here, look at that countertop, beautiful, solid surface countertop. You will see the tile inlaid behind it there, the, uh, you know, kind of the subway tile look, again, taking a lot of residential trends. And that's something Outback does very well. Now, if this isn't for you, if you say, you know, Ian, I don't like the white subway tile, I don't really care for this layout, that's okay, folks, because, you know, as I mentioned, there are a ton of RVs out there. We have over 20,000 in stock now. We have 80,000 coming in straight from the manufacturers. We have more inventory than anyone else in the nation. So if you're looking to get an RV, all you have to do is text FRESH. And that text number is 46642 to be able to lock in the show pricing. And here's another cool thing. Let's say you do like this one. Let's say you've been out shopping and you say, you know what, Ian, I love the Outback 341RD. I got a price from one of your competitors and I'm going to tell you it's a pretty good price. And I'll say, that's awesome. But you know what? We can beat it. And so what, we, what you can do is you can text BEAT to that same number. That's B-E-A-T. We will beat that deal or you will get $1,000 in your pocket. So if we can't beat it, Great, you still got a great deal from a, a, a competitor, you know, another dealership, and you're a thousand, you have $1,000 in your pocket. You have nothing to lose, folks. Right up there, you see wine rack, more storage there. 
I love this thing. Moving our, our way up a little bit, even the doors, right? You know, you talk about you talk about luxury, you talk about quality. And a lot of times for me, it's the little things. And they could have just left this one big blank panel, but I like that they, you know, kind of have some raised paneling in here. Uh, it just gives it that extra aesthetic piece that I think it should have. Your uh, box here is framed in, your control panel, thermostat, of course, for uh, AC as well as furnace. Everything is ducted as you would expect. Making our way into the bathroom. Nice big linen closet. I don't know if you can get in there. It's a little tight, but you get a big linen closet right there. Uh, and you have that top and bottom as far as shower, neo-angle shower. I'll stand in here, folks, with that ceiling height. I'm six foot tall. I mean, look at how much ceiling height I have. I can go all the way to the wall, and I'm still not maxing it out. Uh, as you would expect, porcelain bowl, right? Nice and easy to keep clean. You have a big sink over here. Making our way up into the bedroom. You know, it, it doesn't stop. The amenities don't stop, folks. We can make our way up into this bedroom, and what you'll see is you have a slide-out bed here. So a ton of space. That slide-out really helps. You get the accent wall up front. Take a look at the wardrobe. Again, something you normally see in, like, a fifth wheel with your hanging space right over there. And you guessed it, folks, you have washer and dryer prep. Now, that's one of those things, if you're looking for it, a lot of travel trailers don't have washer and dryer prep. This is one of them. But that's why we're here to help, folks. You know, we know which campers have washer dryer prep. And if, if you say, you know, Ian, that's something I want, great, reach out to us. You know, text that fresh number. And that'll not only lock in your pricing, but it'll get you in touch with one of our specialists. They'll be able to help narrow that down for you. Because there's a lot of stuff out there. We want to make sure that you get something that's going to work for you. And when you text that fresh and lock in that pricing, again, we'll be able to help you navigate through and find the perfect RV, the one that has the washer and dryer prep, you know, that has the features you want. Maybe it has a freestanding table and chairs. Maybe it's a dinette. We don't really know. What we do know is that once you call, we'll be able to narrow that down and help you out. Take a look at the outside, and man, you know, you, you think, wow, Ian, that's beautiful inside. How can we top it, right? Well, Outback does a great job. We're talking outside. There's definitely a lot of things to love out here. We'll start on the back. <laughs> no pun intended, Outback, right? Um, right up top is your backup camera prep. Of course, you'll see your ladder to be able to climb up onto the roof. You'll also know this is something I like. Something minor, right? I talk about little things right here. You have your 50 amp plug-in right on the back. Why do I like that? Because chances are, if you're plugging in, uh, most of the time the post is in the back of the campsite or toward the back. This makes it a lot easier. Fully enclosed, insulated, and heated underbelly. If you're looking to do some four season camping, this one has the ability to do it. Square tubular bumpers with end caps. So you have a spot in which you can store your sewer hose so you don't have to store it up front with everything else. The jacks here are phenomenal. I will get to that in a second, but I will tell you this. This one has auto level. Auto level on a travel trailer is something that is very, very rarely seen. To my knowledge, Outback's the only one that uses that BAL auto level system because it's a little bit more expensive and most manufacturers don't want to do it. But if you want to make camping easy, folks, that right there is what does it. We'll see more of that in just a second. Beautiful aluminum alloy wheels, not going to rust on you. You'll see the large awning with LED lights built in, so that way you can just pop that out, have light on your campsite. You have the LCI solid step here, aluminum treads. Again, you know, nice and, like the name implies, very solid. Folks, I, uh, you know, and, and I'm sure maybe like some of you at home, uh, COVID hasn't been the most friendly to me. Uh, 2020 was a tough year, and I put on a little weight right here in the midsection. And me being 220 pounds, I can still hop up and down on this thing, and the steps don't flex. Uh, that's, that's a pretty big deal, right? Especially if you have bad knees. Being able to get up there nice and easy, those solid steps make it wonderful. As you would expect, a fully laminated sidewall, some outside speakers, TV hookup if you want a TV. Take a look at this. Spot to hook up a grill, propane, boom, right up front. Nice and easy to access. I love this as well. You normally don't have a huge pass-through on this RV, right? Because we have that big wardrobe. They tried to maximize that bedroom space. So what they do instead, they gave you this drawer. So normally, you know, the stuff in the middle, you can't get to. It's super hard to get to in a pass-through. You have to crawl in there, or use something to hook it. With this drawer, it's really easy. Just be able to pull in and out. Anything you have, it's a little bit longer. You know, if you break down your fishing poles even, want to put them in there, you can do that. You know, why not? Um, you know, the golf bag might fit in there, maybe one. Never know, it's worth a shot, right? Making our way up front, this is what I was talking about right here, folks. This is the BAL. As I mentioned, this is a auto level system. You can see right here is the controller for that. 
So you literally turn it on, hit a button, this will level itself out. It will use this tongue jack as well as the jacks around the camper to do so. And if you really wanna get out and enjoy camping, you wanna be able to sit down and relax, this makes it so much easier. And of course, because it is a power tongue jack, it's nice and easy to hook up and disconnect from the tow vehicle there. Uh, you get your nice big 30 pound propane tanks. This is one other thing that I have to hit on, and that's the fact that Outback is one of the few manufacturers and travel trailers that still use a full front cap. And what I mean by that is a lot of manufacturers have gone to a three-quarter cap, right, where it comes in right here and the seam is on the corner. If you look, this comes all the way around to the side. And what that means is less chance for water to get in because water would have to work its way back in and then around. When you have the seam up front, that water's beating on it when driving in the rain or when it's raining. Right there, that makes it so much uh, better to prevent water intrusion. Also add some insulation value up front. We're seeing as how that's your bedroom. That is definitely something you want. Folks, I'm telling you, if you're looking for, as my good friend Chris likes to say, a chalet on wheels, Outback is a great option. This is the 341RD. If you're interested in this one, you're looking at starting at $42,645, and that's as low as $10.21 a day. Introducing RV123 by Camping World, the only way to buy and take delivery of your new RV, all from the comfort of your couch or camp chair. To buy your new RV the easy way, just follow these simple steps. Step one, shop till you drop. Find your perfect RV online at CampingWorld.com and schedule a live virtual walkthrough with one of our RV specialists. Step two, make it mine. Discuss financing options over the phone with a Camping World finance expert. All paperwork handled via mail. Prepaid envelopes are provided. Step three, let's go camping. Take delivery of your new RV at your home or campsite. Our certified delivery specialist will provide the same high quality walkthrough that you would receive at a Camping World dealership. There's a whole new way to buy an RV. Get your RV the easy way with RV123 by Camping World. From sunup to sundown, we are designing your next big adventure, building your family vacation, delivering your memories that will last a lifetime. We know it's more than just an RV, which is why we are working around the clock to bring over 80,000 RVs fresh from the factory to our stores, to your driveway or campsite. Built by Americans for Americans and starting at less than $5 per day. Click, call, or visit your local Camping World today. Coming in at just 29 foot long with nice big sofa in the back. Slide out U-shaped dinette helping to open up the living space. Walk through bath and the bedroom up front, folks. This is the 2021 Forest River Grey Wolf 23MK. There's a lot of reasons that I like this floor plan. One, if you're looking for something a little bit shorter, as I mentioned, this one comes in at 29 foot. Now, I know that may not be short, but you know, sometimes staying under that 30 foot mark can help depending on where you're going camping. And for weight, it tips the scales a little over uh, 5,000 pounds dry. So you may not necessarily have to have a half ton to pull it. Maybe you have a larger SUV and then you are capable of pulling this one. Uh, the thing I also like about it, though, is that they changed up the layout a little bit. It reminds me of a 27RL. There's a lot of different manufacturers that make that floor plan where you kind of have, you know, two rockers in the back and then your slide out here, TV up there, kitchen, right? It, it's all that is very similar, but they kind of shrank it down a little bit. So it fits a little bit shorter floor plan, and I think they made it work. I think this is very functional. We'll start here on the back. And as I said, you have a sofa. So it is a jackknife style sofa. Uh, of course, one of the great things about a jackknife, folks, is if you take a look underneath, look at all that storage you get. There is a ton of storage there. So if you have some larger items like, well, extra bedding for one is a good one to put in there. You have a spot for it. You'll see end tables on both sides. So if you're sitting here with a beverage, watching TV, you can have your old fashioned sitting right here, just kicking back and relaxing. Of course, windows all the way around, that nice big window on the back. You have side windows, those do open. Zebra shades in here too. And you know, with, with this segment, you're, you'll see a lot of things that are very similar. We've seen some zebra shades. When we take a look in a bit in the kitchen, you'll notice the poles are the nice gold poles. And that's because uh, three of the units we've done here are under the Cherokee line. With the Cherokee toy hauler, we have the Alpha Wolf, now we have the Gray Wolf and they all fall under the Cherokee name. So they use a lot of uh, similar things, right? The things that are working. And it makes a lot of sense. Why wouldn't you? 
The Zebra shades are great. As I said, they're honestly probably one of my favorite shade systems. Uh, they, they work super well, and I think they look nice. Uh, and, and just that weight of it, it really, uh, again, makes the, the use of it simple. Uh, the gold pulls, I mentioned how much I liked those. You can see them again. They have them right here, that dark wood, kind of that, that uh, I don't know, I guess maybe it's like a copper gold pull, but I really like it. I think it's, again, something different, and in a, in a, I think it's a good type of different. U-shaped dinette in the slide out. This is great, right? In a floor plan this size, normally, you know, you might not have a slide out here. Maybe you, maybe you will, but the thing I like about this is it's a big U-shaped dinette, which gives you space for guests, not just to sit and hang out and play games and eat, but also a place for them to sleep. And I don't know about you, but when I go camping, I'm all about family and friends, right? For me, that that's really what it's all about. I get out, uh, you know, we, we get we get to go bike riding. You know, we're getting rid of electronics for the most part. Now, yes, we have a TV and we may watch it on a rainy day. Uh, you know, if, if that's something that, that you want to do, you have the capability for it right there. Of course, you know, fireplace underneath makes it look nice, helps keep things toasty. Uh, but for me, I want to sit here. I want to play games together. I want to play board games. I want to have meals together. You know, if I have friends that are camping next door, I want them to be able to come in. I still like to entertain. You know, I talk about that. My wife and I love to entertain. And, and that's one of the reasons I, I really love camping. You know, you, you get to get away. You get to have uh, those the, kind of those one-on-one -on -one moments that we just don't get to. You know, we, we're so busy in our lives. We miss out on it. And this really helps just bring all of that back together. Uh, you know, this does, again, drop down into a bed. So, you know, I also, it's no mystery. If you know me, I like to drink a little bit too. So, uh, you know, so when I, if I have some guests, I need to stay the night. This gives them the ability to do that. I can easily sleep one adult here, two if it's a couple. They want to snuggle up. We're good to go. And, and folks, if you love this floor plan, you're like, yes, this is the one for me. You're just going to want to text RV to 46642, and that will, uh, you know, lock it in for this unit. Not only lock in your pricing, but it'll route you. So, you know, to make sure that this is the one you want so you don't have to jump through all the hoops of telling everyone. Or let's say you want a different rear living layout. Let's say you want the 27RL I talked about with the seats in the back, right? A little bit bigger slide. Get a sofa in here as well. We have them in stock, don't you know? No doubt about it. We have twenty thousand on the ground, eighty thousand coming, and uh, all you have to do is text fresh F R E S H that four six six four two number, or you can just leave it in the comments section below on whatever platform you're watching on. Just type fresh, good to go, or, or you can always call. You know, if you like to pick up a phone and call, I understand. I like to call too. That's eight seven seven two nine seven eight seven two five. Let us help you. Uh, as I mentioned, though, that TV, the fireplace, storage underneath, multimedia center. Speaking of storage, and I showed you the pull, but take a look at this, right? Super simple and easy to open. Now, it's not on any glides or anything. It just kind of sits. So as you saw, it's a little bit, you know, rough opening because it's just wood on wood. But take a look at the storage that allows. You know, you couldn't do much with drawer guides because they wouldn't be able to handle uh, the weight. You know, if you had a bunch of weight out here, the, the guides would pop out. But with this, you can load that down. You can have more weight in there. It gives you more storage. Uh, I personally like what they have done. Take a look across the way is the kitchen. You have upgraded countertops, it's like a thermofoil countertop, uh, like a heat pressed, you know, and what that does is it eliminates the T mold. So you don't have a bunch of water coming in right there, right? You know, or have it pop off or anything like that. It stays looking nice. Undermount sink, but with this style of countertop, it allows you to undermount the sink, which I really appreciate. Uh, it's a nicer look, helps keep things cleaner. That beautiful kind of almost gunmetal stainless steel sink with the oil rub bronze high rise faucet. A uh, little soap dispenser, or shoot, these days, right? Maybe, um, you know, a little hand sanitizer, antibacterial or something. Pump it in there, right? Nice and easy. Be able to do that before you leave, making sure you're safe. Folks, that's, that's one of the things we're big at with Camping World, too. You know, we know that RVing is one of the safest ways to enjoy time with your family. You get to get out, right? You get to travel. You get to see the nation. It is a very safe way to do it rather than taking a plane or train or whatever else it may be where you're packed in with a bunch of other people. Um, but also on, on top of that, right, you know, things like this really make it uh, – really make it easy having that sanitizer and we bring that line of logic into our stores as well if you want to go into a store and you want to shop right there on the lot as i mentioned with the over twenty thousand pieces of inventory on the lots we'll make sure you're safe we'll make sure everyone's masked up we'll make sure you have the hand sanitizer because you know again we want to make sure uh you experience rving the safest way possible got some storage right up top there the fluted glass you can see uh, again you kind of have those pulls that i love Microwave, slimline hood. This is pretty cool. We saw this in the other one, but if you're just tuning in, you can see right there, you have a magnetic cutting board. Take it off. Boom. Now I have a cutting board here. You can do your work. 
And then when you're done, whoop, the magnets, there we go. Boom, just like that, sticks right back up there. Undermount, three burner cooktop. This folds up and back like so. The knobs do light up, oven underneath. And then as we have seen in the last couple, you'll notice that 12 volt uh, refrigerator. And you'll see this one of, uh, has the, the, the compressor driven again. And when we go outside, you'll also notice this one has solar already built in, which is really cool, uh, especially with that style of fridge. And, and open this up, linen closet in the bathroom here, more storage underneath, shower. That's one of those things we're starting to see more of too, is more manufacturers starting to go to the 12 volt uh, refrigerators. They know that you know people want boondocks, so they wanna make sure they have that solar. You'll see here, uh, good height here, folks. With this skylight, I'm six foot tall. I can stand in here. Without it, you know, I'm, I'm kind of topping it out, but with it, I get some pretty good space. Now, this is a walk-through bathroom, so uh, your sink and toilet, and uh, you get a little bit of extra storage right over there. If you can take a peek, you can kind of see that. And you do have plenty of leg room when you sit on the toilet there. And then when we come into the bedroom, I'll just kind of show you this. You'll see the queen bed. Storage on both sides there. You have uh, emergency exit for the window, another window across the way. And if you want a TV, it's that same style. We have a TV um, mount right there. So you can just take that whole TV arm from your main living space, drop it right there in the bedroom if you want, if you want to watch uh, TV at night. So uh, that does make it very portable, which is great because you don't have to have multiple TVs. If you want multiple, great. Maybe you have one in the living room and then you know one in the bedroom. And if you want to take one outside, well, you can do that too. And as we make our way outside, you can see the steps right here. Those are the uh, Moride solid steps, and they are, uh, or sorry, the Moride step above step system. They are very solid, aluminum treads, grip tape. You'll see they have the little cutout right here. It's kind of a fancy look. Uh, you have the tempered glass door as well, and I like this too. They put the Gray Wolf emblem right on the bottom. The grab handle, of course, makes it easier to get in. And then when we come around to the back, square tubular bumper. Looks like we have a, an extra cap there. If you want the cap, I'll throw it in for free. You're welcome. Um, you will see the 200 pound weight capacity right here on this guy. Drop that down, can throw totes on there. You have a tire attached to it. Up top is backup camera. You know what, that's not prep guys. That is an actual backup camera that's on there. As I mentioned, this one has solar, it has backup camera. Uh, those are some of those things that normally you would have to pay for afterward. And then look at this. This is one of my favorites right here outside refrigerator for beverages, condiments, whatever else you want, outside shower, and an ice maker. This one for me is big. I don't know if I mentioned this inside, but I like to have a few cocktails when I camp, and this allows me to do it nice and easy. I'm sitting outside, hanging out with my boys. I'm going to uh, just pop in there, grab some ice, mix up a few drinks, and uh, you know, everyone's happy, right? Dropping down, this is one of those things that is very, very uh, minor, I guess you could say, but something I really enjoy. And that right is this right here. It's your, uh, your little tire uh, minder, right? And what this does is it tells you if your tires are at proper pressure, if they're underinflated. If it's green, you're good to go. If that changes to red, you need to add air to the tire. Again, super simple. It probably costs the manufacturer a quarter, but I love that they put them on there because that's one of those things where you have an issue, a lot of people have issues, right? You have a blowout, boom, tire pops, that's a, that's a problem, right? That's gonna cause some damage. Not only a headache for you, hopefully you have good SAM insurance, you know, roadside so they can come uh, take care of you. Uh, if not, I definitely recommend getting it, but those right there will again, hopefully help prevent a blowout and it's just something simple and great to have. We talked about TV, there you go, there's a mount, right? Just take it from inside, boom, pop it in outside, you're good to go, a couple speakers, you have your hookups right there for it, so you're rocking and rolling. That, of course, is underneath this power awning, so you have that coverage, so the sun's not beating down on the screen, so you're able to see it. Take a look, uh, also underneath there, you'll see propane quick connect, folks. You wanna do some grilling. You know, it's a good way to do it, right? You have the TV right here, you're grilling it up, watching the game, whatever else is on. Maybe you're watching soap operas in the middle of the day, I don't know, you can do it, but you have the grill right there, or the propane quick connect to hook up that grill makes it simple. Coming up front here, you will notice the big storage up front as well as that solar controller. As I mentioned, this one does have the solar controller and there is a roof mounted solar panel. It already comes with it. So uh, if you're looking at a great deal, folks, if you want to be able to get into RVing, this one starts at 24,215, which is starting at $5.98 a day, under six bucks to get out, start making memories. You have the awesome fridge, the great layout, the solar up top. Don't miss out. Text RV to 46642.
Camping World is the one-stop shop for all your outdoor essentials. Shop chairs and side tables starting at only $9.99 and patio lights starting at $10.99. Grills for only $9.99? Who knew travel could be so easy? Your vacations just got a little brighter, a little tastier, and a little cozier. See America for less when you shop at Camping World. One of the things you're going to need when you have a couple's RV is leveling system, yep. right? Absolutely. Oh, my gosh. You yes. Can't, you can't RV without leveling. Well, well, right, because then your fridge is off, everything else is off. You feel like you're, you know, like you have vertigo, walking all weird, you know, you're going to fall down. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> it's true. After, like, a few years of full-time RVing, I feel like I have an internal leveler where I could just, like, I'm, like, just look out. I'm, like, yeah, we're a little yeah. to the left. Well, because we have that little bubbler, you know, that yeah. little bubble level, so uh -huh. we're staring in intently at least the first I would say couple months that we were full time RV uh -huh. we're like no a little left a little right no 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 a little left <laughs> little and then left, we, right, we have the hydraulic so we're oh, okay. I'm okay. like sometimes we'd have to start way over because you know it goes left and right and we're like oh no okay back to plan A <laughs> all the way back down <laughs> start completely over start completely drop it all the way back down all. when, we, when we say uh, that it really tests your marriage it's oh, little yes. things like that where I'm staring at a leveler screaming uh -huh. left right and he's trying to go you know so it's yeah. hysterical someone's got the joystick someone's got the the megaphone <laughs> <laughs> well, you're making it work. That's awesome. Yeah, definitely. Well, we have a lot of great leveling products, um, you know, here, here at Camping World. And there's a lot of different options. You start to look at levelers. I mean, you have things like curve levelers. Uh, mm -hmm. Some of my favorite are actually right over here, which are the Camco, the stack. Yep. Uh, be because it's everything in one, right? It has the handle. Yep. You have the whole leveling block system. Mm -hmm. You can get the two by twos, uh, the four by twos. Now, the, the four by two systems, right, they're going to be a little bit bigger, and those are mainly meant if you have uh, like dualies, right, like dualies. on the back of a yep. lot of your motorhomes. Yep. Uh, but I've actually used those before too because you can build them up. So if you're in a really unlevel like, place yep. and you have the, the four by twos and the two by twos, they all stack together. And so you can, you can stack one side up pretty high if you have to. We call them the adult Legos. The adult <laughs> That's Legos. right. <laughs> yeah. Yes. No, yeah, we love it so much. And, and the chalks as well, I think, is something mm -hmm. that. A lot of times it's hit or miss, you know yes. what I mean? It, it does help give you peace of mind if it does yes. roll forward or backwards or anything. So Yeah, yeah. For, for a safety, safety standpoint, you should always use wheel chocks. I know a lot of people don't, and, you know, a lot of people use a piece of wood. And, uh, you know, it's, it's at your own discretion, I guess, at your own risk. At your own uh, risk. You know, they're, they're cheap enough. They're small. You can just throw them mm -hmm. in your pass-through. But as far as leveling, uh, you know, the, the, I, like I said, I personally like the big stack. It's very easy to carry. Um, you know, what do you guys, what do you guys use currently? We use the yep. box. Oh, right. yep. It's just yeah. easy to be able to really, you know, add three on one side, two yep. on another and like give or take. So yeah, it's, it's really the all in one. So as you're walking around the campsite, you're kind of checking out other people's leveling systems, how <laughs> they're doing they have it, going right? On. Yeah. Um, I see some people jack their, their RV up off the ground oh. using these these is that how you're supposed to do it absolutely not caleb and, and I, I'm, I'm glad you brought that yeah. up because a lot of like the the systems right um yeah. especially the hydraulic even some electric systems on your motorhomes they're strong enough to lift it up off the ground but if you yeah. look in the manual it will tell you absolutely not to do it yeah um and, and for a lot of different reasons so from there you have a couple different options you can kind of level it out you can use the blocks um, but no, please don't do that. Yeah. As, as far as the leveling items, though, folks, we do have a ton of items in stock. All you have to do to get a discount is text CAMP to 46642 or drop it in the comment section below. <laughs> this beautiful, lightweight front kitchen model comes in at 25 foot 11 inches, so under 26 foot, little under 5,300 pounds dry. And not only do you have that beautiful front kitchen and entertainment space, but we make our way back into the bedroom with a side aisle bath. So folks, if you're looking for something a little bit shorter, you want to stay under that 26 foot footprint, this is an excellent option. And this of course is the 2021 Forest River Rockwood Mini Light 2506S. 
And as I mentioned, I love this one uh, for being kind of our anchor, right? Wrapping up the couple's RVs. Because I feel like this is kind of what a lot of people want. It's, uh, you know, has nice amenities. It gets you out camping. It has a lot of excellent features on it that will help keep you out camping as well, like the shower miser and solar prep, which we'll get to in just a little minute. Uh, also has big tanks. This one has a 58 gallon fresh tank, which is big. A lot of times if you get that 30 gallon mark, especially for a travel trailer this size, you also get a 60 gallon gray tank and then a 30 gallon black. But let's, uh, let's kind of start right here in the entertainment area. We'll make our way around the kitchen and then head back. So one of the things you'll see here, and again, like I said, we're starting to see more and more of this is the 12 volt fridge. And as I mentioned, it makes sense in here. You know, if you want to do some boondocking, you'll see when we go outside, this one comes uh, with a double battery box already installed. So they expect you to put two batteries in here. You have that solar prep, you throw some solar on here and you're running that bad boy indefinitely. You're doing some excellent boondocking. AC right up top. Now for this one, folks, you are of course going to need either a generator or shore power, but it does come with it. So if you do plug it in, you can stay nice and cool. You'll notice your multimedia center up top, a charging port. I like this as well. Plug in some cell phones, you have a net, boom, drop it in right there. TV with soundbar underneath, more storage, and then the fireplace. And, and here's what I love about this. You know, it's just the two of you. You go out, you kind of want to escape, you relax. And, you know, if you want to be outside, you want to enjoy nature, you certainly can, right? That's one of the reasons we go camping. But also, I like this too, right? Just, you know, just sitting here with your partner, holding hands, you know, maybe watching TV. And you just have this nice, cozy space. And as I said, coming in under 26 foot uh, with the high-end amenities this one has, I really do like the Rockwood Mini Light line. When we talk about high-end amenities, I mean, look at the theater seating, for example. So, you know, not only are these uh, power theater seats, but you'll also see right here that you have USB ports and a standard 110 receptacle. So if you need to plug in something a little bit heavier duty, you're able to do that. Um, you know, maybe you want to blow up like an air mattress or something in here. You want to use that? Go for it. Go crazy. Uh, you'll see some cup holders there too. But let's say you want to snuggle up a little bit more. Boom, just like that. Now you have a little bit more of a sofa and you can snuggle up. And I'm telling you folks, this is very comfortable seating. They both do recline so you can kick back and relax there. Uh, you will see all around me, you have um, window space. The side windows in the slides do open to get that cross ventilation, that cross breeze. And then right up front here, as I mentioned, this one is the front kitchen. And folks, if you're loving what you're seeing, you like the Rockwood Mini Light, simply text RV to 46642 to lock in the pricing on this one. Or if you're just looking for any RV, whether it's the Mini Light, whether it's a couples model, whether it's a bunk model, toy hauler, motorhome, we have plenty more coming. If you're interested, you're going to want to text FRESH to that 46642 number because that will lock in your show pricing for any of the units that we show here at the show. As we look at this front kitchen though, beautiful solid surface countertops. You know, just because you're camping doesn't mean you necessarily you have to rough it. And a couple's my coach like this, that is certainly the case. You're not roughing anything here. I love this. And because it is solid surface, a true solid surface, that definitely allows for an undermount sink. Uh, dual equal stainless steel bowl. And I like the solid surface for a couple of reasons. One is just it looks a lot nicer. Two, it's easier to keep clean from a number of standpoints. One, if you have crumbs up here, boom, you just sweep them right into the sink. But two, if you have a top mount sink, you have a lip all the way around. And what happens is you go to, you know, wipe or a bunch of crumbs and dirt and everything start to form around that lip. Here, it is much simpler to keep clean. The back side of this, is court, of course, is a cutting board. Uh, one piece of advice I always give people is just to use one side, right? You know, don't necessarily uh, use both sides because then both sides will have knife marks. But if you just use the one side, then you can flip it back over and you will always have one side that looks nice. You'll also see your drying rack there. If you put both of them on, it makes for great prep space. Big window up front too. I love that, you know, especially if you're sitting here, you know, if you're doing dishes, you're preparing food, you get... You know, nice uh, nice view out the front right there. Let's in a lot of natural light. Electrical outlet off to the side to plug in any other appliances, maybe a coffee maker, and you can see there's plenty of room there for it. And then plenty of storage. You can see storage all the way across the top from the cubby hole all the way over. You have big pantry storage going down the front here, another electrical outlet, storage all the way underneath. So lots of kitchen storage, which, you know, in, in a camper that is under 26 foot, that's definitely a big deal. 
You also see the Magic Chef cooktop and oven. It is a recessed cooktop. You, of course, just fold this guy up and back. You'll see some slots right back there if you want to toss some knives in there. It's a good spot for it. And then <clears throat> as we drop that down, you will see your oven. So if you have some items that you want to bake, you have the ability to do so. Nice big drawer underneath that. Worth mentioning a couple things on the door here. One is that you have a window. So if you plan on spending some time in here, <clears throat> excuse me, maybe you want to open that up, let some light in, or you know, if someone comes and knocks on your door, you can see uh, out it, see who it is. And also you have the screenshot, which is pretty cool. And I can show you that when we go outside. But basically what that does is that the screen will close itself. So that way you don't have to worry about it. Just a nice little extra feature. Making our way on back, thermostat will be located right here. That will be both for your ducted AC as well as the heat. Uh, as we make our way into the bathroom, foot flush lever toilet right here in the corner. You can see I have pretty good leg space. You know when the door is shut, I have more than enough room. Plenty of space here in the shoulders as well. The shower itself, neo angle. Let me take a step in here and just kind of show you the size. So there you go, see, plenty of room. Now one of the things that are cool here is that this one has the shower miser on it. And essentially what that is, so if you see this little elbow right here, this is blue. Um, and what will happen is, you know, if you are doing some boondocking, right, it takes a little bit of time for your shower to get hot. And so you waste a ton of fresh water waiting for that to heat up. But with this system, you, this is basically a recirculation. So it will recirculate it back into the uh, fresh side until this turns white. And that means your water is hot. And so now you can flip this switch and now you have hot water. So um, that's awesome because that will, you know, that can increase your tank capacity on your fresh and gray tank by up to 40%. If you think about it, right? Because otherwise you're just wasting fresh water. So you're emptying that tank out faster and then it's going into the gray tank. You're filling up that tank faster and all you're doing is waiting for hot water. So uh, that is a really cool system for anyone that likes to boondock. You can see mirrored medicine cabinet there, sink, countertop, electrical outlet, storage down below. And folks, things like that, right? Like the shower miser, that's one of those things that, you know, if you're shopping online or, you know, if you're, um, you know, just go to a dealership, that might be something you miss. But that's why we're here, folks. That's why we're here to help. We have uh, product experts that are ready to help you find the RV for you, explain some of the differences between one or another, make sure we're able to find the perfect one for you. All you have to do is text that keyword, that fresh, or give us a call, 877-297-8725. Lastly, before we head outside, I do just want to show you the bedroom real quick here. See the queen bed right there in the center. You have nightstands on both sides, wardrobes up top, more storage, plus storage here in the corner in space for a TV. You know, and the cool thing about this, it reminds me a lot of a motorhome floor plan, right? Uh, a lot of times in a motorhome bedroom, this is what you'll have is kind of this style of setup. Um, and it's something you don't find very often in a travel trailer, but in a floor plan like this, I honestly think that it works. Let's head on outside here and uh, we'll take a look at some of the outside features because there's a lot on the outside too. So you'll see a couple things. One, if you notice, right as I walk down, I have this grab handle. And that's a, that's a big deal for people that have bad knees. You know, I know my grandma, uh, bless her heart, you know, once she likes to come camping with us once in a while. Um, and I love that she does, but you know, it's hard for her to get up and down stairs. And this right here is a lifesaver. You know, she can kind of take some steps down, control it, and I can help her on the way down. That's a big feature. Plus, you have the upgraded steps right there, the more ride step above steps, aluminum treads, spot to hook up a TV outside. If we want TV outside, you can take that TV, boom, pop it in right there. You have this rail system. So if you want to hook up like a, a griddle, this one does come with a griddle. You can pop it in right there, good to go. You're cooking it up no time. You have a two burner cooktop over here. So you got all sorts of options. Uh, not sure why they went with the white fridge, to be honest. I'm not sure if this was intentional or if black was just out, uh, but you know, hey, a fridge is a fridge. You know, it can be neon pink and I'd still like it out here, right? It'll still hold, hold my beer, keep my beer cold, throw some condiments in there. I am good to go. Making our way around back, you'll see the square tubular bumper with end caps. Gives you a great spot to store a sewer hose. And if we drop down underneath, you will see this guy right here. Pop that out and this is a two inch receiver, can hold up to 300 pounds. So if you have a bike rack or a storage rack or something you wanna stick in there, it's a great spot for it. Spare tires mounted back here, super easy to get to. Of course, uh, rear mounted ladder for the fully walkable roof. You can get up there for any kind of maintenance, backup camera prep, 
This I absolutely love. How often do you see this in the back of a travel trailer? That's right, almost never, until now. This one has it, and this is an awesome storage bin. As you can see, you can fit a ton of stuff in here, even some larger items. You know, if you plan on, if you want to take this hunting, you can fit some rifles in there. You can fit some fishing poles in there if you're going fishing. Just all sorts of storage right there in the back, and I love it. Of course, some of our hookups for uh, cable and satellite, as well as fresh water. Making our way back up around the front, you can see the power awning, large power awning with an LED light. Couple outside speakers there as well. Uh, if we take a look at the tires, let me hit these real quick. Aluminum alloy tires. And again, you can see the, uh, the little caps on there, which are great. And then if we come right over to this side, solar prep, as I mentioned. So you'll have uh, outside solar prep right there. Some storage, there's our griddle. I told you I had one, wouldn't lie to you. Last thing I wanna to touch on is right up front, folks. <clears throat> Talked about having two batteries, right? Especially if you wanna be able to run that fridge inside, have a little more time on it. <clears throat> this allows you to do it right there. Nice big uh, uh, propane tanks with the um, outside cover here, so it looks great. And you'll also see your power tongue jack. So we can just flip a button, hook things up nice and easily. Really makes life simple. Folks, if you love this one, if the mini light 2506S is for you. This one starts at $32,945, which is as little as $7.89 a day. Sleep up to three. Nice, perfect camper for a couple. And folks, this wraps up the, camp, the campers for couples. But if you're interested in any of these, make sure you text FRESH and lock in your savings. Hi, we're Mike and Jennifer Wendland, and here's our tips on how to stay connected on the road. And nine, ten years ago, we bought a used Class B and started a blog, and lo and behold, it took off. People started to read it, and then we went to YouTube, and then we started the podcast, and we now have like about 750,000 people in our community that follow us. Now, we depend on the internet. We do all of our work from the internet. We're podcasters, we do videos, we do blogs, we send our photos in, and uh, we could not work from the road if we didn't have internet connectivity. So it is important to stay connected, and it is so easy now. The first thing that we want to recommend to everybody, if it's that critical to you, is redundancy. And what that means is have another network that you can access the internet through. Um, we use two networks. Uh, we use, uh, they're both, they're competing networks, but that way we're pretty sure that wherever we go, if one network has bad coverage, the other one almost always has good coverage. And that has saved us so many times in the past. I think of the time we were in the Florida Everglades and we uh, had no internet connectivity and I flipped on the other one, the other section, and bam, it was like five bars. And we had great connectivity. So have two systems. If it's that important to you, yes, you have to have two different accounts, but that's important. You, you also wanna know that, uh, be aware that some of the carriers will limit you in terms of how much data you can use. Um, one of the big carriers will uh, let you only use 15 gigabytes of data a month. The other one will let you use 20. So if you have redundancy, you can balance between those two and you can end up with like 35 gigabytes of uh, data that you can use. And that's enough for most of the most intensive use of RVers. And uh, it's all because of redundancy. Uh, we uh, also have different devices that we use. Uh, on the roof of our RV is the Connect 2 from Weingart. You can get it at Camping World. They've got it in all their stores and you can find it online as well. Uh, it is a great system. It is a Wi-Fi booster. In other words, it will pick up Wi-Fi signals from a fairly long way away and it will boost that signal and bring it into your RV. So you can use the campground Wi-Fi or if you're in a public area, you can use the public Wi-Fi that's there as well. But besides that, that WineGuard Connect 2 also has a 4G LTE antenna. So you will have good cellular internet connectivity too. That is our go-to device. Uh, we use it, it brings in the signal, and then it broadcasts our own like hotspot network inside our RV. But if that doesn't work, we also use a small Wi-Fi data card router system. These are uh, available by all the major carriers. 
and we are so surprised at how well that works now. When we first started RVing nine years ago, we never got connectivity. We had to have a cell phone booster, a little antenna on the roof to get it. Now the cell phone networks and all the providers have been built up. And do we ever run out of internet anywhere? No, we don't. Yeah, maybe in the most remote areas of Yellowstone National <laughs> Park. Yes, a couple of places. But uh, having that MiFi card also works well. I just keep it on a counter in the RV. And probably 90% of the time, that's how we grab our internet. And the other thing is they have multiple devices. We travel, uh, Jen and I both have a laptop, so we have two laptops. We have uh, a tablet that is uh, cellular enabled, and we have our two cell phones. So all of those devices can create their own Wi-Fi network. So if one breaks, then the other one will take over. And if the other one breaks, you still got a third one. We're on the road half to three quarters of the time, and. Uh, we always have internet connectivity now. Because we couldn't go there, we couldn't be there if we didn't. And in this age of the pandemic, when everybody is working remotely, that is probably the most important requirement that so many people have for their RV, is internet connectivity. So again, our advice, have redundancy, different carriers, different devices, and uh, you're good to go. So that, is our RV pro tip on staying connected on the road. And there are lots more RV pro tips from other influencers, so check them out.